Family, it is now day 28 of Vlogmas, so stay tuned for the question of the day. All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So I'm so glad that you guys are hanging in there with me. We are at day 28 of Vlogmas, and the question of the day is, why do men seem to move on so fast after a relationship? You guys know that I have some tips for you, so I'm going to give you five. Let's move into them. So the first thing that you have to understand is that he is moving away from the drama or the perceived drama. He's, he's moving away from it. He's tired of it. He needs to just move on, clear his mind, clear the clutter, clear the crap, and move on. And it's easier to do that with somebody else new that he can focus his time and energy on. The second thing that you guys have to keep in mind is that in our culture, in the American culture at least, men are not supposed to be emotional, right? That's the thing that we put out there. Man up, man up, don't cry, you know? Uh, so because of that, and, and, and this is with men in general, so you get a group of men that get together one or two of them probably are hurting when it comes to their relationship because it didn't work out um, and they really want to talk about it. But because our culture tells them to man up or don't share your emotions or hold that stuff in, you know, move on, blah, 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 that they say it's a cultural thing. And so instead of him blah, spitting out all of this stuff or, or feeling less than as a man, he'll just hold it in move on to the next chick so he can get away from, again, the perceived drama. And he can, again, spend time and energy on concentrating on something and or someone new. It's our culture. Our culture is holding them back and, and it makes it look like they're moving on so easy. That actually brings me into point number three, which is he is hurting just as bad as you are. None of us want to be in failed relationships. And then this is the whole thing. And I hear men say this. Actually, I hear men say this more than women, which is funny. Now I got to start all over again. Trust me, sis. He hurting just as bad as you. He want the relationship to work just as bad as you. Now, again, it always depends on what stage the guy is in. You could be with a guy that is not relationship ready at all. So, of course, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about the dude that it just didn't work out with. He was, you know, y'all y'all was having a good time for however long it lasted, and now that is over. He is hurting just like you're hurting, sis. But again, going back to that cultural thing, he can't hold on to that. He got to let it go. And I'm doing the air quotes because he really didn't let it go. He didn't let it go. But he has to let it go. He has to not talk about it. He has to pretty much act like it didn't happen, at least out in public. Now, maybe behind closed doors, he's shedding a few tears, but all of this stuff is done by himself. Like, as women, we have, we, we are the ones who are very talkative, especially about relationships. Every single solitary time there is a group of women around, relationships absolutely always come up. Not necessarily bad all the time, but I'm just saying they always come up. But for men... They get kind of teased if they are constantly talking about their relationship problems, right? If it's not about, you know, the last one that they hit off. Now, of course, this depends on the group that they're in. So, of course, this is not happening every single time. But if it's not something about the, um, yeah, the last person that they hit off or the last group of people or whatever, how many other numbers that they got. But, but all of the stuff that they're hurting about, all of that emotional stuff, they don't really talk about that. So again, he's moving on to the next one in order to help alleviate some of that, which is actually bad as a side note. That's actually bad because then you're jumping from relationship to relationship, not dealing with your baggage. Speaking of which, I have a video about jumping from relationship to relationship. Of course, I'll put it down in the description box below and of course up here at some point within the video. So you can check that out after this one. <laughs> All right, number four is that the next girl is going to help him get back into his manly state, his unruffled state, his confident state, his masculine state so much faster than him having to, um, you know, sit around and mope and constantly think about another failed relationship or 
you know, whatever it is that happened, why the relationship did not work out. Instead of him carrying in all of that baggage, he's worried about the new girl. He wants to have fun. He wants to get away from all of the drama that happened previously. Last and final tip is that the new girl, unfortunately, becomes the rebound girl. Now, most of the time with rebound, when you hear rebound, usually don't work out. Are there... it? Is there a small chance that that relationship can work out? Of course it is. But usually the rebound person, number one, the rebound doesn't know that they're a rebound unless they read between the lines of what's going on in old boy's head. Most of the time we don't pay attention to what's not said, which we need to, we need to do better on that, sisters. We need to do better on that. But to get back to this, most of the time we don't realize or even recognize that we're the rebound girl. And number two, because we're the rebound girl, it ain't going to work out. It's just not. He's not where he needs to be. Most of the time, I, I, I told you guys this story before. I was dating this guy, and I was in a similar situation. And he, was, he, was, he wasn't emotionally ready to be with me. He was always talking about his ex. How she wasn't necessarily as tight, but she was still there. How, um, you know, she basically ran him through the mud. And he, he was just dumping all of this emotional baggage on me. But because I didn't realize this at the time, I was thinking, oh, we got a chance. Because I was just a shoulder to cry on. Any and every time, oh boy, text or call, I was always, hello, hello. I'm talking about even when I'm asleep. Like, he had a special ringtone. Uh, and, you know, I, I was all in. I was gun-ho for him, but not knowingly knowing that I was just his shoulder to basically cry on and just get all of this stuff out. Because again, men ain't trying to listen to this, but this is something that women, we naturally do because we're the nurturers. So we naturally do that. And it wasn't that I was trying to, you know, really listen to all of this. It was just like, oh, okay, he calling me all the time. Okay, we hanging out all the time. Okay, yeah, we have sex here and there or whatever. But um, I just didn't realize he was not emotionally available for me. So now that I recognize that, um, anyway, I happen to be his rebound girl, right? So that's the whole point of all of this. I happen to be his rebound girl and it did not work out. All right, ladies, did this help you out? Give me some comments down in the comment section below so I know if, if you've ever been in a situation like this. Have you actually been the rebound girl? What actually happened in, the, in your situation? Especially if you were the rebound girl, you found out that you were the rebound girl, however you found out, and the relationship worked out. I absolutely would love to read that. Let's go ahead and chat down in the comment section. And of course, let me just throw this out there. If you are not following me on social media, go ahead and do that because the next time that I ask questions to be answered, that is exactly where I ask the questions. So I'm on Twitter. I'm actually on Snapchat. I don't, I don't get on Snapchat much, but I am starting to pick up more and more on Snapchat. But Twitter and Instagram, I'm absolutely always there. And then on my Facebook fan page as well. So go ahead and connect with your girl outside of YouTube so we can stay connected. I will see you guys tomorrow.